So today we leave Warsaw and we head to Czestochowa and then to Zekopani. So we're going down the elevator, have a quick breakfast. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we're looking forward to a good day today, Czestochowa, and then getting up into the mountains of Zakopane. We'll be right on the border with Slovenia. And uh, it'll be cooler up there in the mountains, and tomorrow all day we'll just spend up in the mountains. Bless us on our journey. Send your protecting angels ahead of us. Bless Yorick and Roberto our progress. Give them a keen eye and good judgment that we might arrive in safety and in peace. And all this we pray through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We use our traveling time creatively to tell stories and give information and share and pray together. And I gave, told the story of Janet and I traveling to Poland when it was a communist country smuggling Bibles and money and medicine into the Christians. It was kind of a risky thing and a great adventure, but uh, we told that whole story. Had a rest area, and this is one of the most important sites that we see each day here. And then back on the road heading to Zekopani. So what I'd like to do in the next half hour or so is talk about John Paul's philosophy and how he uses Aristotle in a very radical way. So let's start off at the first slide. Would God ask you to fly a plane into a building? And folks, we're talking about philosophy theology. I don't want to be called by your hands. great Jesus handouts Christ. and a great That's pre presentation. Seventh grade, seven, seven year getting ready for his first communion. Let's think critically and analytically now. This drives the scientists crazy because who gets there first? The shepherds got there first because when God reveals the truth, it's a lot easier to say, "Holy we got cow!" Wonderful God, handouts. Feed the sheep in the field and let's get to town. The magi, it's a slow, long, laborious method, which is why, and I speak now as an American, why so few Americans do it. Thinking isn't easy. It's hard work. It's much easier just to sit on front of the tube and flip the channels and have a 30 second attention span, right? You know, Bolshevik, we stopped them coming to America, the ones. <laughs> queen of Poland. The ladies honor Mary as a Queen of Poland. Thank you. With your help, we jako równy nam, a będąc jednocześnie równy Bogu Ojcu, jako osoba Boża. To jak tu mężczyzna, który Pan Jezus. Look at the cross, the church is packed standing. Nasyłał go przecież swoim Young people everywhere. A przypomnijmy sobie zdarzenie, gdy Pan Jezus zagubił się podczas... 
Schweiz. The lunch situation was not very good and there was insufficient uh, resources for lunch and long lines and incompetence and 
my estimation, but everybody had a good spirit about it and everybody got some food in these uh, restaurants. And then we loaded back up on the bus and headed towards the Zakapani. But we had some great stories along the way and watched a movie on one bus and we'll watch that again on the tomorrow on the other bus. And it's a, it was a good time. We're having a great time together and even the driving today is pleasurable. <laughs> and why? So I am a which woman? <laughs> this woman. <laughs> which woman? Which they didn't. Woman? How many women have you been hanging out with? <laughs> All right. I am a priest in the personal ordinary of the chair of Saint Peter, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but I'd like to tell you a little bit about my journey here. I was a uh, United Methodist pastor for more than 20 years and my career was spent um, primarily in the San Francisco Bay Area and I pastored several different churches there for, for many years. If you had told me 20 years ago that one day I would not only be Catholic but I'd be a Catholic priest. <laughs> I would have laughed and fallen on the floor. Uh, um, so, you know, this is very new to us. And, you know, it's weird because I've told people, like I was sitting at a table last night and I mentioned to them that I was his wife. Number one, that was shocking. And I explained the personal ordinary. And then number two, they were like, yeah, we were wondering kind of why you're hanging around with that priest all the time. Yeah, because, and, and so, so that's awkward because he's my husband, okay? We've been married for 35 years, and I can't, like, hold his hand in public. I mean, I'm Italian. I'm usually, like, all over him, okay? I've been really restraining myself. The German troops entered Hungary and practically at once they started mass extermination of Jews in Hungary. Hey, we just got back from uh, Chestahova and I'll tell you, the, the campus there, uh, the monastery, uh, the um, churches, the basilica that's there, is packed with people of all generations. It was amazing. It was the kind of thing you would see, you know, at a major theme park in the United States. And it was that busy too. It was that overloaded with people, enthusiastic people, old people, young people. It was beautiful. Poland obviously has done something right. We finally arrived in Zakopane, which is up in the mountains, which you can see, and we're going up there tomorrow. And it's like Swiss Alps, these beautiful wooden chalets. Even our hotel, this is it here, is, I can't pronounce the name, but this is our hotel, five-star hotel up here in the mountains. And we're pretty excited to be here.